All right, guys. Thank, thank, thank you guys for sticking around. You guys are awesome. This, this part of my video, the part two, is going to be really short. I'm basically, basically going to give you an example of what it is to let go of people and that connection. Okay? And I'm not saying these people are this, but they can act like this and why you guys can't connect to them. So if you guys turn with me to um, uh, Luke chapter 4. We're going to go We're gonna go to Luke chapter 4 real quick. Real quick, real quick. We'll get there really quick. All right, cool beans. Luke chapter 4. And so I'm going to read to you right here. Jesus states, he said, Solomon, I say to you, no prophet is accepted and welcome in his own town and country. Now, why is that? The thing is, things that you've developed in your life to become the better you, the you that you were meant to be in God, is that you were, you're around people that are familiar with the old you. They're familiar with the negative you. They're familiar with the passive you. They're familiar with the failure part of you. They're not familiar, they're not familiar with the successful you. So when somebody's not familiar with something, they, they mainly have a negative perception of it. It's unknown, so it becomes scary to them. So they retaliate in anger and sadness or just sheer rejection. They'll, sheer re they'll just reject you, just flat out reject you because it's in fear of something new. So don't get hurt when people do this to you, when they push you away and stuff. It's because um, either you're changing or they're changing and it, it just it's circumstantial. You, it, it, you just don't know what's going to happen. But in God, you do if you're choosing the right path. So anyways... That's an interesting verse because for me, I can't be accepted by some of my family relatives because I've changed and because they haven't changed yet or matured in this way yet, so we can't click yet. But we can if they're willing to change and pursue a closer relationship with God. And that's always a possibility. All right, let me hit you up with one more. One more, guys, because this one will really hit us home and really won't get us to understand why we can't connect with certain people anymore if you're starting to mature in God. It's not that you're choosing to push them out of your life. It's just inevitable. It's going to happen, just like I used the magnet analogy in my first video. You're going to have to go back and watch that if you want to hear it again. <laughs> All right, so guys, go with me to, still we're in Luke 4, chapter, the, chapter 4, verse 34. So God goes up to this person that's filled with demons. This, this person is just embodied demons. And the demons speak out of this person and said, Let us alone. What do we have to do with you? What do we have in common with you, Jesus of Nazareth? So I stop right there real quick. So these demons flat out said, What do we have in common with you? It's more of a rhetorical question because they already knew the answer to that. The thing is, the demons are contrary to God's ministry. So when somebody's contrary to what you're doing, that's a stumbling block in your life. They're a setback. They're not bad. They just can become a setback. They can become a falling rock in your journey and climbing the mountain because they're not wanting to grow. And the thing is, they always have the potential to grow, but letting go of them would be you trying to climb that mountain and the rock begins to slip, right? It's a sliding rock and it begins to slip and you move out of the way and you let them go. You let them fall because if you take that rock with you and you try to take that rock and keep that rock and put it back in its place, you're going to fall with that rock. And if those people want to fall, let them fall. But the thing is, once you get to the top of the mountain, you can shout down and say, hey, you don't got to be a stumbling block, and you don't got to be a sliding rock in people's lives. You could be a climber. Start climbing. Start maturing. So these demons, kind of like us with certain people that are negative and pessimistic in our lives, uh, they're a lot like that. What do we have in common? So if we don't have God... If we don't have this love in common, then we don't click. You see what I'm getting at? It's simple. So the easy way to let go of people is not the letting go you think. It's letting go as in letting go of their perception of you. Letting go of your old lifestyle of what they think of you. That's what you're letting go. Because I didn't let go of my family in my heart because I always loved them. I never let go of my best friend in my heart. I will always love them. But the thing is this. That I will let go of their perception of my old me. And I will let go of the old style that I used to be. And I will pursue the new life in Christ that I am to be. It's, it's a beautiful thing, guys. So that's really how you let go. 
you press into God and you realize that my identity is in Christ Jesus. So therefore, I don't need to be holding on to things that never were mine to begin with. I love you guys. Thank you guys for staying tuned. And God loves you and I love you.